Hello and welcome to a very special How I Paint Things. Now today I'm going to tackle something that a few people have asked about over the years, and I mean years now, <laughs> how to make up your own Space Marine chapter. Now this one is, well it's kind of a personal one, because ultimately there's no right way to go about this. Uh, I'm going to talk about just ways that you can maybe bounce ideas around in your head, places to get some inspiration, but ultimately it's going to come from your own grey matter, and whew, that can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. Uh, I actually really enjoyed painting this fella. Uh, it was, you know, something outside of my usual wheelhouse when it comes to Space Marines, and I think, you know, I'm going to spend some more time thinking about the background, the history, and sort of the combat doctrine of this chapter. So, without any further mucking around, let's look at how I come up with these guys here, the Iron Castellans. Right, so the question is, where to begin? Now, it might be a little bit of a spoiler here, because I have already primed this dude, because I did have a cool idea, but I want to go through how I got to that, and what steps you might take to sort of, you know, look for inspiration yourself. And when you're cooking up your own marine chapter, I reckon there's four things Let's get my hand in the way there, because I can count to four, <laughs> that you really want to know. All right, so four things. You want to know their name, you want to know where they're from, you want to know how they like to fight, and you want to know what color they are. Now, those can all come in any order, right? You don't have to have the name first. And as a matter of fact, you might not come up with that until last. What you're looking for is something that will spark the rest. So... When you're coming up with a, a name, you, know, you might see one that looks really neat, or there's just a word that sticks in your head. And from there, you know, the germ of the idea starts to seed. You might have a really cool color scheme in mind, and you might start thinking, okay, well, what would the conditions be on a homeworld or a way that these marines like to fight that would lead to that? Which starts getting into tactical doctrine, how they do battle, what are their favorite ways of doing that sort of thing? So what you're trying to determine is the overall character of the Space Marine chapter. And like I said, that can come from anywhere. So this fella in particular, uh, I was looking through the Stormcast Eternal um, battle tome the other day. And I saw a couple of really cool color schemes. And I thought to myself at one point, what would that look like on a Space Marine? And that's when all of this started ticking over. So I'm going to start off. I've got here my uh, Space Marine, and I, re I like the pose on this dude. You know, he's dropped his magazine while he was reloading, seen another enemy, whipped out his pistol, bang, bang. You know, I Space Marines are cool. <laughs> anyway, so I've started off with a primer. I've used Plate Mail from Army Painter. But what I'm going to do is go over it all with a quick blast of Iron Hand Steel. Because if I do need to touch up any of these areas, I want to make sure that I'm starting from the same color. So let's whip out my brush and get started. So with just a little bit of water in my brush, I've mixed that into my Iron Hand Steel, and I'm just going to start applying this all over his armor. So thinking about what is this Marine chapter going to be like? I want to know a little bit about their combat doctrine, how they like to fight. So silver, what does that tell us? Uh, there's a lot of knights, you know, if you look at Marine chapters, there's Knights of this, Knights of that, uh, which is quite a common name. Uh, you start thinking of crusadery style stuff. Okay, we've got then the Black Templars and similar. But for these guys, I like the idea that they have a fairly standard uh, combat doctrine. Uh, the temptation, like, say you were to base them off of an animal. Like, let's just say the uh, Striking Pythons. Um, you might turn around and go, okay, well then they're going to play that name to the hilt, and they will fight exactly like pythons, and they will not do anything else. So they don't like, you know, they wouldn't take a, a land raider because, ooh, that's heavy and we don't do that. I think there's a mistake in, you know, kind of, what's the word, flanderizing <laughs> uh, space marine chapters. I always sort of hold that if there is a an expedient or a best way to fight a battle, the marines are going to do that. You know, they aren't going to just ignore half of their armory because, oh no, we don't like that. Uh, so try and keep your, you know, try not to stick too close to, oh, I'm doing a, an animal-based marine chapter or they've got a certain name, which I absolutely must adhere to style-wise. 
Now, as I was waiting for that to dry, I went and I hit Google and I had a look for one of the names that I had in mind. I was thinking something like Void Wardens. You know, I had Void in my head and I wanted to use it for something. And Warden, I like that. It kind of implies that they're a, a protector sort of thing. Maybe they've got a region that they look after in space. I don't know. But Void Wardens was what I had in mind. So I hit Google and oh no. <laughs> a few dozen people apparently like that name and have made it their own as well. And strictly speaking, there's nothing to stop you from using a name that somebody already has. Um, it does point out in the law that, you know, sometimes Space Marine chapters are destroyed or renamed or by sheer accident. They just end up with two or three of them bearing the same name at the same time. But I started thinking, all right, well, what's what's like Warden? What, what does that word imply? So I started thinking, um, knight, no, guardian, maybe. And then I thought, ah, Castellan. You know, that's a, that's a real 40k sort of word. You hear that all the time. And I liked the impression that that gave. There we go, finally in focus. So void Castellan didn't seem quite right. So I started mucking around it. I was like, well, they're silver. I wanted them to be silver. So why don't I call them silver Castellans? Okay. But... Silver or iron? That's the question, right? So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm probably going to go with iron castellans. It's got a slightly cooler ring to it, but you might think something else is neater. I've got Nocturne Green. This is a relatively new base paint, and I'm going to do in his shoulder fields. You see, it doesn't cover perfectly over silver, so we'll come back and give it a second coat. Uh, but other regions I think I'm going to do his knee pad. And this, we'll use this to do as a company color later. But first, I'm going to lay down some green. Because now I'm thinking Castellan. It's like, okay, not void, so I don't want black or dark blue. Um, where else? Do I really want nothing else? What about the... Ah, we'll do the cover on his bobbleys and his power plant. All right, I'm going to come back in a second and we'll see what that looks like after a couple of coats of Nocturne Green. Now that is a nice green. Uh, I hope it hasn't been this nice the whole time and I just haven't been using it because I really like that color, that's great. Uh, what I'll do now is, because I've added some green, I think we can safely go into some slightly warmer colors. So I'm gonna use brown for his equipment rather than a flat black. And I've got here German Camo Black Brown, uh, which is a Vallejo color. You could use, um, what would it be? Rhinox Hide would be the closest Citadel equivalent, but I just, I like this color. So now that we're starting to think about, okay, we've got a little bit more idea about who our guys are. They are the probably Iron, Iron Castellans. I like that. So that starts thinking, okay, well, Iron in the name, do we want to go with Iron Hands as their parent chapter? And eh, probably not, you know. I do love my Iron Hands, but if I'm going to do an Iron Hand army, I want to do them an Iron Hand army. You know, <laughs> black and sinister and all that. So Castellans, you know, I start thinking maybe they are an Imperial Fist successor. That's something to think about. But if we think about Castellans, you know, historically, all right, so they are responsible for a, you know, a fortress. So what is it they do? They're probably defensively minded. So again, we're starting to think more, uh, what's the word? Imperial fists and similar. Um, when you're doing this though, there is no reason that you have to have a straight answer on who their parent chapter is, because of course you can just use whatever rules you like, as long as you're consistent, um, and say, oh yeah, they're an unknown founding. But I like the idea of knowing where these guys are from. So we'll, we'll put a pin in Imperial fists, and that gives us a few more ideas about sort of combat doctrine, what they might be like on the battlefield. In my mind, I'm thinking a lot of sort of mid-ranged combat. I like the idea of them being sort of ambush predator style, you know. Um, but that's something else to think about. I'm going to finish this off off screen. All right, now that's had time to dry, I'm going to go ahead and non-oil the whole miniature. Uh, there are a couple of details, of course, we've yet to do, but I think at this stage, it's probably everything that I'll want to shade in black. So grab myself a big old shade brush and just start applying this liberally over 
the entire model, the green, the silver, everything. And once that's all covered, we'll give that about half an hour to dry. We'll see what that looks like when that's finished. Now, personally, I will never not be stunned by what a shade does to a model. I really like how that's come out. And because we used Iron Hand Steel to start with, we've still got quite a bright uh, finish to that armor. That's nice. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get uh, Nesdreg Yellow. This is a contrast paint and my medium sh uh, layer brush. Now, I'm going to put this on now because I just want to get a look at what this is going to look like over the chest eagle. Uh, I do want quite a dark, sort of brassy finish to this, but if it doesn't look right, then it doesn't matter. Once it's dried, I can just paint over it. But if that works, oh yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, that's the chest eagles done in a few seconds. Yep, now that finish, that suits me down to the ground, actually. I really like that. What I've got now is some Basilicanum Grey, and I'm going to add this to all of the metal areas. So on its pistol, its bolt rifle, and what have you. And I'm just going to cover over the whole area. Um, the darker this guy gets, I start thinking that Iron Castellans is the way forward. So uh, I'll do a little dealies on his uh, pack here too. Let's just come back in a couple of seconds, get a look at that. Now while that's drying, I'm going to get myself my uh, glaze brush. You could use a small layer brush for this, and just a little bit of Blood Angel's Red. We'll see how this looks in the eye socket. So let's lightly... Yeah man, that'll do. And now, because I like doing things the easy way, I've got my Black Templar, and my Medium Layer Brush again. And I'm just going to go along and, oops, knock my camera about. Let's fill in these little dealies. Now I'm starting to think these guys may be from a, uh, from a jungle world. Because the more I was thinking about, okay, Castellans, you know, mid-range combat that I've already decided on. How would they fight? What would they want to see more of? And I like the idea of them actually, you know, lots of intercessors, lots of auto-bolt rifles. Uh, tactical squads rocking around with with flamers and multi melters that sort of stuff. But also, I like the idea that you know land raider redeemers because flamers are cool. And then that starts telling me, well, maybe they really like leaving their mark on a world. You know, they don't just march across it with boots. If they can find a way to put track marks on there <laughs> instead of taking like a repulsor, they'll take a land raider. And I know that that doesn't work with every army build. So again. You know, you are looking for ways to tell a story with your army, but don't feel constrained to any specific, uh, you know, you're not stuck. Marines will fight whatever way is going to work best. Uh, let's go ahead and put some Black Templar on the weapon casings too. Uh, I think we've got a couple of coats on here already, which will mean this will show up quite a nice deep black with maybe just a little bit of metallic shading to it. Now with all of those bits done, it's time to think about where he's going to show his company colors. Now some Space Marine chapters don't do this at all, but I kind of like the ones that do because it's a little bit extra detail and it can add a color that you might otherwise be lacking. Uh, I'm going to put a little line of yellow. This is uh, Avalanche Sunset. I'm just going to carefully uh, paint a line. On his knee pad, I'm going to fill the rest of that in off camera. So, second company, here we come. Now remember, if you do make any mistakes, you can go back over with your Nocturne Green from earlier. Um, I'm sure that's just a little bit crooked, but I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm going to <laughs> carry on. I pretend I do not see it. What I'm going to do now, I've actually got an Army Painter color here. This is Wizard's Orb. And I think it's fairly close to Carbolite Green. It might be a little bit lighter. I'm just going to paint a little bit on the back of his pack here to get an idea of what that might look like as a highlight. And yeah, I like that. This subtle enough once it dries. I'm going to go around and I'm going to do just little, little highlights on the corners of all of the green areas. It'll brighten them up just a little bit. Now, isn't that nice? That's fairly subtle. Uh, but I actually really like how those few tiny wee blips of green are enough to really sell the color underneath. So Wizard's Orb from Army Painter. Um, 
I think I might stick to that in the future actually, rather than switch to cover light green. What I've got now though, this is Blood Reaver Flesh, and I'm just going to do some highlights on his uh, pack and stuff. What I'd suggest when you're sort of coming up with your own color schemes is try not to go overboard on your test piece. Because you might spend forever and get a really, really cool looking effect and go, oh my goodness, this guy's amazing. And then have to paint it across, <laughs> you know, 60, 70 marines or whatever it is you're doing. So I would say your better choice is to sort of knock out one fairly quickly and get a look at, all right, this is this is what I'd be happy putting on the table. Um, am I going to be happy painting a whole army like that? And I think for these guys, yeah, man, uh, there's a ton of ways that you could improve on this. So, you know, if I was painting a character, I would probably spend the time to do his uh, chest eagle with a nice brassy color instead of just uh, contrast. But for knocking out the basic troops, I think that's quite a nice result. I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to finish off the purity seals. Uh, I very quickly did these off screen. But I wanted to mention really that, you know, from here, all that's left is to really think about the homeworld. And that's something that I can spend some time on, you know, just at my leisure. <laughs> uh, I think I've got, you know, a pretty cool idea in mind. I like how these guys look. Uh, that green came out really neat. I'm really pleased with that. And a name like Iron Castellans. Ooh, ooh, that's proper 40k. So what I'm going to do is I'll finish this off and then I'll pop a base on them. Um, and again, I want to try and evoke that slightly grassier look. So I'm probably going to put quite a few tufts on, maybe bulk it out a little bit with some extra grass. Who knows? We'll have a look once that's all finished. And at last, our Iron Castellan is complete. And I gotta admit, this went in a direction I wasn't really expecting. Uh, when I was first sort of cooking up what I might do in this video, I was thinking of Xandri Dust Spray and all sorts of different things. You know, this, this was really a lot of fun to just sort of come up with something on the fly. And like I said, inspiration is gonna strike from a thousand different places. If you're really stuck for ideas, the best thing you can do is actually crack open Google and hit Space Marine Chapter Generator <laughs> and just mash random a few times until it gives you a word that sparks you off or look at other color schemes, um, you know, either existing Space Marine chapters and think, what if I changed that color? Or, you know, this was lifted first thinking about the uh, Stormcast Eternals. There's lots of inspiration out there. Uh, from then on, it's really just a case of thinking about what you like. You might turn around and decide to do a marine chapter that really likes using the kits that you like. So thinking about this fella here, um, you know, I, I really like dreadnoughts. I think they're cool. And what I'd mentioned earlier about, okay, maybe these guys like to leave their mark, like physical footsteps or track marks on a planet to, to herald their passing and to, to stay, say that they were there. Well, dreadnoughts would be a really cool way of doing that. That also work really well in built-up uh, jungle environments. Huh? I like dreadnoughts. <laughs> so you see how you can you can also use your interests to kind of fuel what your chapter is into. But remember always, you know, Space Marines aren't stuck with a yes or no. Um, you know, nobody will not use a weapon that's available to them, especially if it's the best one to get the job done. So hopefully, everybody, there was something interesting in there for you. Uh, I know that you know, talking about where inspiration comes from, it's an imprecise. <laughs> it's, it's really a difficult one to sort of put into words. But I hope maybe this helps jumpstart some ideas of your own. Or maybe you really like the Iron Castellans. Uh, if you do decide you want to do a, a kill team or something of these guys, I'd love to see it. Uh, chapter badge, I don't know. That'll be the next thing to do. And I think... I don't know, maybe a, a gate of some description. Uh, I would definitely do them in white, uh, especially on a nice dark background like this. So shout out to Exit23 Games for the light and sound equipment and to our producer level patron, Brother Sergeant Jonathan. <laughs> uh, I really like, you know, he wanted something cool and Brother Sergeant is, it, yeah, rock and roll. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, feel free, drop them in the old comment box below. Uh, I might go ahead and paint some more of these guys. Hey, I really like that color scheme. So thank you very much for your time. 
and you all enjoy the rest of your day.